Hey everybody, welcome to GI Dojo. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a place uh, that's in the uh, 1 6 scale or 12 inch scale. Uh, most of you guys have probably never seen it. It's called Mission HQ and it's from Hasbro's late 90s Action Man toy line. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm splitting the box open and uh, as you can see, the box was absolutely destroyed by, by uh, the post from uh, United Kingdom. Uh, luckily, our eBay seller packed everything real tight in bubble wrap on the inside of the box, so despite them trying to destroy the box, the contents look to be intact. I'm going to go ahead and pull the bubble wrap off and see what we have inside. Uh, pro tip for any vintage toy collector or video game collector, open your packages outside of your house in case uh, they have some type of cigarette odor or they have some type of creatures in them, God forbid, or um, you know they're covered in dirt and grime. Uh, open them outside, carry them inside, maybe spray them down in the bathtub with a little bit of Dawn Power Wash. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so there's very little uh, documentation, actually pretty much no documentation about this playset on the internet. Uh, it looks like it was only released in the UK from what I can gather. Because I can't find any um, sold listings that aren't from the UK. And uh, I can't find any trace of this on the old Action Man website from the 90s. Because I went on the Wayback Machine and saw the old archive of that Hasbro uh, website. Uh, here's all the contents. The only pieces I believe I'm missing is a plastic, uh, real malleable rubber climbing net. Uh, which I'll show a picture at the end of this video. Uh, also, there is a um, foam dart that goes on the end of this gun that shoots uh, Nerf style darts. And uh, that wasn't included, unfortunately. But here's all, here's all the other contents. Doesn't look like anything right now, but once I put this together, uh, we're gonna have a really substantial play set. Uh, and this is gonna be kind of the internet's guide on how to assemble it. Because again, we have no documentation whatsoever, no reviews on YouTube, uh, nothing. Just a picture of the box art uh, on figurerealm.com. Okay, we have four base plates, and this is the uh, configuration in which you assemble them. They have um, tabs that slide into um, slots very easily. This playset is meant to be uh, put up and disassembled over and over again because it's so large. I guess they wanted to make it easy for kids to break it down, put it under their bed, and pull it out later. Okay, just for reference, this is what the base plates look like slid together. Have this cool Action Man logo right there. Let's go ahead and put the rest of it together. Okay, so the exposed brick goes on the outside, obviously. We're going to take these tabs. We're going to slot them in like so. Just like that. Okay, so here's our two pieces together, and we're gonna slot that side wall down into these slots very carefully. Uh, this place that's from 1999, I believe, so pretty old at this point. Okay, here's how how far we got so far. Now we have our four our floor plate. These hooks here are actually what the um, climbing net attaches to, which I'm missing. But we're gonna slot these slots onto these tabs. Okay, starting to shape up. Here's what that looks like. You have these two steel girders. Uh, plastic, obviously, meant to look like steel girders. And we're gonna go ahead and slot one of them. They're the same size. I'm gonna slot one from the floor to the second story. Okay, now here are the two walls for the second story. We're gonna slot, again, these tabs into these slots. Okay, now we're gonna take this wall, has the uh, slots on the bottom. We're gonna place it on top of those tabs. Okay, this is really starting to take shape. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of a, a one six scale version of the Kenner Ghostbusters Firehouse. Uh, this is the place that I always dreamed of having. I, I mean, I didn't know it existed when I was a kid, but I always wanted like a plastic injection molded playset 
to go with my 12 inch G.I. Joe or Real American Hero Hall of Fame figures. Uh, and I never had one. You know, I had all the vehicles, the uniforms, the figures, but I never had, they never had a, a base. And uh, you don't need much. You know, just a little, little diorama like this. Uh, so now we're going to take our other steel girder. We're going to fit it right in that hole. And then we're going to pop the roof on. At this point, everything else should be pretty self-explanatory for you guys. Okay, so here's the bottom side of our roof. There's only one way it can go on. As you can see, the uh, outside edge of the roof has no slots, but the inside edge does. And that's going to go right on here like this. Okay, this is pretty exciting. Uh, one thing to note before you guys actually purchase this is it is very, very shaky, very wobbly. Plastic is very thin on those walls. Uh, so I don't want anybody to have any buyer's remorse if you think that uh, it won't stand up to maybe play. If you want to actually play with this with your kids, it might break being it's vintage and it's designed to be real, real thin and real easy to pack away. Let's uh, put the rest of the parts on and bring Action Man out and G.I. Joe. Okay, I just popped our door into the hinges, very easy. Uh, here's our ladder, it just kind of hangs there wherever you'd like to place it, I think it looks best there. But it is kind of warped, I'm gonna have to heat it up, uh, you know, put it in some real hot water, straighten it, and then put it in some real cold water, it'll kind of shock it back into place. Uh, here is our Nerf gun, and as you can see, there's a tab on the top, and there's a tab right there, so you slip that satellite dish over that uh, over that barrel, and then you place this base onto this logo. Okay, everybody, we're here in my inner sanctum. Just got done cleaning the uh, Action Man Mission HQ playset. Uh, you know, took a lot of hard work. It was real gross. Smelled like a cat, uh, but we got it all cleaned up. It's all plastic. Used some lighter fluid and a. Uh, cotton swab to get some of the marks off of things. Uh, we're going to look at the Nerf gun real quick here. Uh, you just pull this back. Now it's charged. Put your dart on the end, which I do not have, and then you push this and that launches the dart. Uh, now for scale here, there's not many pictures of this thing online to be honest. Okay, so here is a Hasbro Action Man. I believe he was the skydiver. Uh, we have some Hasbro Defender shorts from the 70s on them, a reproduction green beret. Uh, but anyway, we're here to look at the playset. Uh, also, here is a uh, G.I. Joe Classic Collection female body. This is the same body that is used for the rare Action Man Natalie Poole figure. So you can kind of see how Natalie Poole would, would scale up inside of this playset. There's our Action Man over here. We have a uh, 2006 Walmart uh, exclusive, or I don't know if they're exclusive, but anyway, it's the Walmart Land Adventure. Uh, it's the 40th uh, anniversary G.I. Joe body. Uh, again, just so you can see the scale. Here's another angle. And, uh, you know, we have it next to the uh, G.I. Joe Training Center and also the World Peacekeepers Lookout Tower. We'll move our land adventure out of the way and see how our door closes here. Pretty simple. Now here's our ladder. Again, just clips on the side. And one last shot of the back side of the playset. All in all, uh, you know, this is a pretty cool playset. I only paid uh, about $50, including shipping all the way from the UK. So it was definitely worth it for me. Uh, hope, hopefully that the prices don't uh, go up, don't spike after this video comes out uh, because a lot of people now are going to know about this playset. I'd also recommend adding some, uh, I got some cool 70s Barbie dream house furniture we're going to add in here. There's Action Man lounging on his couch. You got a uh, barrel that's roughly 1-6 scale that some candy came in. Uh, so that is the Action Man Mission HQ. This is Mike from GI Dojo. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one.